Hey guys, it's Tom from Dreamlight Gaming and today I'm going to be doing a series of videos showing you how to make a quick and simple gaming table at home. Um, like everybody else, I struggle for room, um, particularly in your house, when real life has to unfortunately take over from our plastic men. But um, I've come up with an idea which is rather simple and anyone can do it at home. And it doesn't involve spending over £100 on a certain branded modular gaming board. Uh, so, first things first, just tell you what I've got and then I'll get back to you. Um, so, simple as, I've got three sheets, let me show you, of MDF cut into two foot by four foot sections. Uh, it's 15 mil MDF because I want it to be rather sort of sturdy so you can, uh, get, it can take a lacquer in and a painting and it doesn't cause any issues. Um, you can use thinner if you want it to be lighter. Um, but I'm quite happy in that I can just bung it under the stairs and it's out of the way. Um, obligatory tape measure and pen for marking off various things I'm going to be doing throughout the day. And uh, a leg, which is the only reason I've got this. It's just an old pole from a curtain. I need to make one supporting leg for one side of the board because I can quite happily fit four foot side by side on my dining room table. Don't tell the wife. And, but I do need to support with one foot at the side. Um, last thing we want is a board landing on somebody's foot and hurting them. Um, how I'm going to paint it, really quick and easy. Uh, three army painter sprays. I've got army green, desert yellow and angel green. So essentially yes, it is going to be a green piece of MDF with various shadings on. But after we've put some scattered terrain on it, things like that, it's going to be absolutely fine. We will eventually get around to doing you a board where all three of us talk through doing modular terrain and sculpted hills and things like that. But hey, we don't have the setup for that at the moment. Last but least, a bit of static grass flock. Can't go wrong. Woodland scenic static grass flock is fantastic. This old container uh, cost me less than £10 and I've been basing with it for about a year. And there's still plenty left. Uh, you can't go far wrong. All cost, including the three paints, uh, you're looking at less than 50 quid uh, to make a table at home, so give it a go. Um, I'm going to start spraying up and get back to you in video two. Cheers guys, bye bye.